On the evening of February 10th at a launch facility in Boca Chica, Texas, billionaire and SpaceX founder Elon Musk will provide an update on Starship, a powerful rocket that some say will transform the space industry in a major way that many still cannot imagine. And this lack of imagination could pose a problem for other players in the industry. In today's video, we will talk about how Elon Musk's Starship rocket could change the space business. But before that, make sure you press that red subscribe button along with that tiny bell icon to get updated every time we post new videos. Let's get started. Musk has earned a reputation for setting overly ambitious deadlines, which could explain why much of the space industry is not yet waiting for the reality of a working ship and everything it needs. SpaceX will display the rocket at Starbase, its test facility, during Musk's speech. Sitting on its giant booster called the Super Heavy, Starship stands just under 400 feet, 120 meters tall. That makes it taller than Saturn V, the 363-foot-tall NASA rocket used for the Apollo lunar missions in the 1960s and 1970s, currently the tallest operating rocket in history. Starship is supposed to be completely reusable and has the ability to transport more than 100 tons to Mars and the Moon. Fully reusable Starship and Super Heavy systems are expected to allow for space-based activities that have not been possible before, SpaceX writes in the Starship User Guide. Starship would be a big step towards SpaceX's goal of making life interplanetary. The rocket's enormous payload capacity, coupled with the reusability factor, could dramatically change the economics of launching people and objects into space. Musk's speech focused on Starship's technical developments. He remained vague about what projects the company might have in store. There's going to be some future announcements that I think people will be pretty fired up about, he said. There are a lot of additional customers that will want to use Starship. I don't want to steal their thunder. They're going to make their own announcements. Already last year, the Starship project received major approval after NASA offered SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract to send its astronauts to the moon. It came after SpaceX became the first private company to send astronauts into space when in 2020, it transported NASA astronauts to the International Space Station on Falcon 9, the world's first orbital class reusable rocket. Thursday's update was the first big news from Starship in over two years. The rocket was supposed to make its first orbital test flight in January or February of this year, but was delayed due to an environmental assessment by the US Federal Aviation Administration, as well as hardware problems. Musk said that both problems would soon be resolved. It was not the first time the project had experienced delays. And so far, there's not much like Starship and its SpaceX predecessors. In December, the company secured three more NASA flights as aerospace giant Boeing continued to struggle to resolve problems with its own Starliner spacecraft. Both companies have signed contracts with the space agency to transport their astronauts to the International Space Station. European space company Ariane Group is trying to catch up. The planned Maya launch system is expected to open to the satellite launch market in 2026 and will be designed to be reusable. In size, however, it'll be dwarfed by Starship, launching just one metric ton in reusable mode into low Earth orbit versus Starship's projected 100. This is a big talk about a rocket that has yet to make an orbital test flight, and if it misfires at Tesla, Musk's electric and self-driving car company have shown us anything, it's that big projects can take time, but Musk and his staff aren't eager to wait. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below, and don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.